Hi, my name is Mark Hanaberry and I want to do a little video on making complementary curves. So this type of thing with your router. Okay, um, routers are of course extremely useful and getting used to making jigs and templates uh, is a lot of fun. You can do things a lot of different ways. You can get very precise, accurate joints and do them repeatable and do them fast and efficiently. Um, there are a lot of different types of ways of doing things. This I'm going to show you today is just a simple way to do a one-piece template complementary routing curve. Um, I used to make lots of stuff with routers and I had some pretty fancy CNC machine jigs made up for doing these boxes. Um, these were done on a table mounted router with bearings. Bearings are a lot better, they're more accurate than uh, template guides, but template guides work okay. They have a few quirks in uh, accuracy that you have to get used to. They're not real accurate, so you have to account for that and do test cuts. But anyhow, um, I'll put these to one side. And what I have set up here is just a piece of plywood that I freehand cut on a bandsaw uh, with a dull blade. It's kind of nice and smooth finish, but uh, that's it. I haven't done it, spent any amount of time on it. And this is what we're going to cut, two of these. We're going to use a um, couple of pieces of quarter inch masonite. I'll do one one way and one the other. And the principle involved is pretty simple. We're using a template guide, a template, um, a template guide and a bushing. So the router bit you choose doesn't make any odds. You can pick whatever size router bit you want, pick one that's suitable for the work. I chose a quarter inch just because I had it and I'm only using it on a quarter inch masonite. You can use any router bits you want, any combination of tools, as long as it does the right thing. And all it does is move your router bit from one side of your cut line to the other side, depending on which piece you're cutting. So that's the finish line you want. Your templates and your template guides and bushings, all they do is move the route a bit for one cut on this side of the line. We put the bushing or take it off, it moves the route a bit to the other side of the line. So, the way you figure out what you need here, you don't have to worry about the offset. Put whatever router bit you want in there, put your template guide bushing in here. And the uh, best thing to do, um, this is supposed to be a quarter inch uh, cut a bit. It's actually um, the best thing I, what I normally do is just do a test cut and measure the gap. So clamp a piece of wood on here, run a test cut in there and then measure it. It came out to 0.2535, so it's a, a little over a quarter inch. Um, the reason you need to know that measurement is this is that's how you determine your bushing. So the idea is that one cut you're going to cut with the bushing up against the template, and you're cutting on the outside edge of the blade here. This is the next cut you have to move the route of it over to the other side of the cutting line here. So you need to move it the width of the cut over this way. So that means to make your bushing you need to know the width of the cut and uh, so the dimensions of your template bushing here. So you add double the width because you're going to go quarter inch on this side all, all the way around so you add the size of this plus two times the size of your cut, and that gives you the size of the bushing. So what we, did, we ended up with here was 0 0.2535 for the 
for the cart times 2 gives you 0.507 um, the bushing here uh, measured at 0.376 we added those together we got 0.883 that is what I made the bushing close enough within this hour anyway it's not, not critical on this job that's for sure um, okay so you don't have to cut either side first it doesn't matter so if you want to cut one side These templates, of course, anything you're doing to be accurate is going to need to be clamped down. I don't have the proper clamps made up for this, but this will probably work fine. I've got a strip along the top and the bottom that should keep it reasonably stable. And then I will put this on there. Hopefully that will behave and stay in place. <coughs> Now let's make sure I don't forget anything. Tighten that down. Hopefully that holds everything in place. We move this one out of the way. And then we're gonna run. Oh yeah, okay, you run in. <laughs> I gotta keep in mind what I'm doing now. When you're cutting the left one, you've got to put the router bit over that way. When you're cutting the right one, the router bit's got to be over that side of the line. So right now we have the left one in, we have to move the router bit out as far as it will go. So I'm going to need the bushing for this. trim this stuff off on the band saw the rough size first which would probably make it a little easier to cut but anyway done now probably nice. it depends you have to figure out what what's suitable for whatever job you're doing let's clean up dust and we'll get the next piece put in Uh, 
to tighten everything up. Now, I have to take the template guide off, the bushing on the template guide, I should say. And then we cut this one. Fairly simple, the only problem is you have to get the right size bushing. The rest of the stuff is random, whatever you got in the shop. But you've got to either have a template guide set with the two sizes or a template guide and a bushing. So if you're lucky enough to have a lathe, you can make up your own bushings and then you've got a match set. If you don't, you can get somebody to make one up, or you can make one up on a drill press. I mean, uh, easy enough to figure some way of making it. Okay, that's it. It's fairly straightforward. You get a good fit. This actually, I mean, if you take your time and you do a good setup, this is pretty crude. If you do a good setup, you can get as accurate a fit as you want, and you can cut pretty tight curves on this. You know, there's not much restricting you other than the bushing. So <clears throat> that's it folks. Thanks for watching. Mark Annabury, talk to you soon. Bye.